The overall goal of this procedure is to prepare primary microglial cell cultures from neonatal rat brains. This is accomplished by first isolating the brain and removing the meninges. The second step is to homogenize the brain and to plate a mixed glial culture into T75 flasks. Next, the flasks are incubated for 10 to 14 days until an astrocyte monolayer has reached confluence. The final step is to shake the flasks to release microglia that are growing on top of the astrocyte monolayer, resulting in a purified culture of microglia. Ultimately, high-purity primary microglia can be used in subsequent in vitro single-cell culture and co-culture assays. The main advantage of this technique over existing methods, like the percol gradient method, is that nominal mechanical disruption minimizes microglial dysfunction or activation, and microglia for experiments can be generated for weeks after the initial preparation. I will be demonstrating this procedure along with Tammy Tamashiro, a graduate student in Dr. Clifton Dowgard's laboratory. The high purity microglia cultures attained during this protocol can be used in in vitro experiments to study microglia function under normal physiological conditions as well as pathological disease conditions. Microglia responsiveness to tissue damage as well as inflammatory stimuli has direct relevance to neurological injury and neurodegenerative disease conditions. Generally, individuals new to this method may struggle because they are unfamiliar with how to remove the meninges from brain tissue in a timely manner in order to reduce fibroblast contamination in the primary microglia cultures. In addition, care should be taken not to damage the astrocyte monolayer during the shaking of flasks and handling of the mix.